Isaac and Ty face off in a fierce technical match on one championship. Before the match even begins, the audience is already winning as we have Herb Dean as our referee for this evening. Today, we'll be breaking this fight down. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of. Or if you have any questions, I'm always active and happy to help you fast track your BJJ journey. The match starts with Isaac getting a deep underhook and they wrestle, eventually ending up in a dogfight position. From here, Isaac limp arms out, trying to get to the back. Then my head moves away. I put my shoulder lower than my hand and everything goes out in one big motion. And as a result, we get complete back exposure. Now let's take a look at this from Ty's perspective. Ty is able to sense the immediate danger and instantly performs a wrestling switch where he sits out and gets top position on Isaac. Isaac stands up, continues wrestling for a bit, keeps his double underhooks and attempts a really nice Hizagaruma here. Isaac and Ty both disengage, they wrestle for a bit more before the final sequence. Isaac hits a spectacular elbow drag straight into a single leg, then cuts to the rear body lock. I'm gonna pass and my hand that's on the collar tie is gonna attack the leg. So I'm pressuring, shuffle, level change, pass. As I do, I'm looking to sweep in and snag that knee. Ty initiates another wrestling switch as he's falling to the ground, trying to insert his arm between Isaac's legs. Somehow he manages to pummel his left leg all the way through this space here to get into a closed guard situation. He immediately builds height onto his elbow and turns his entire body face down to initiate a hip bump swing. Hit the switch, what a beautiful reversal to end up in mount. Look at how quick that was for Ty Rotolo. Wow, he squeezed it on the head. He was squeezing on the head momentarily of Isaac Michel. After this epic sweep, Ty ends up on mount with a Dagestani handcuff on Isaac's bottom arm. Big to get out of this mount position. He's gonna have to try to pull his legs out from between the legs of Rutolo. What an incredible mount. Isaac works to capture Ty's leg, but Ty does a great job removing Isaac's hip frame with a simple wrist grip. This gave him access to slide his left leg up, cutting the necessary angle and taking Isaac's back with a simple chair sit. From here, Ty has his top hook in and a crab hook on the bottom side. What's interesting to note here is that normally you would want to prioritize the bottom hook in order to prevent many escapes which involve misaligning midlines, but Ty doesn't do that here. Instead, he cinches up the choke from the chair sit position, then sits back and aims to insert a long hook over the top, crossing his feet on the other side. This allows him to keep the choke tight whilst maintaining control of Isaac's lower body. This was a very impressive finish. Now, I'm going to go through one key concept from the fight and walk through the sequence once more. And finally, highlighting some of the final details of the finishing choke, the Rulotino choke. The Rulotino, Ru man, Rutolotin choke. So the concept is simple. The body moves where the head moves. When hitting a hip bump sweep or any throw, make sure your head is looking at where you want to take your opponent. Your muscles will store up maximum potential energy this way, so that when you unwind your twisted torso, you will generate maximum power. As someone commented in my last video, yes, biomechanics. He shoots it all the way through, he like angles his body, shoot all the way through. It's this close up position. Ty catches the Ruotolo team from a modified mount position. 
uses the underhook as a claw grip on the far shoulder, keeping his head tight to Isaac's shoulder. He then adjusts his body position so that his chest is directly behind Isaac's shoulder blade. The long hook and cross feet help secure this angle and prevents rotation from both the lower and upper body. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and like this video to stay tuned for more juicy breakdowns. Take care.